This is seven. Seven days of fasting. What's up, Lug? Saturday morning. 10 o'clock. So I usually do intermittent fasting, but this morning my body's telling me that I need to eat now. So I'm going to. Here's a shot of what I'm taking. So I use a ninja bullet. The bottom is uh, one, one banana, there's some frozen raspberries, some spinach, some non-fat plain yogurt, and then I got my whey protein. Two scoops of this It's more than enough. Usually I go two to three scoops, depending on uh, if I'm uh, planning on hitting my protein totals for the day. With the yogurt, each container is 480 calories, so I try to just divide that by four shakes. So I'm not like exactly counting exact calories or measuring not exact cups or portion sizes as far as that goes. Same with the spinach, same with raspberries, but I do stick with one banana unless I'm wanting a little bit more base or flavor to it or banana flavor, I'll put another banana in there. Pretty much anything I add extra is gonna be protein. Cheers. This shake is actually about, if everything was measured out perfectly, it'd be 510 calories. You know, usually I round up a little bit or if it's close to the number that I got, which is 510, I'll just say it's 550. What's up guys, lunchtime, it's 2.15. Let me show you what I got going here. Bean and cheese and beef burritos, which it's not really beef, it's actually uh, Morningstar Crumbles, the uh, black bean chipotle flavor. Uh, half a bag, can of Rosaritos, traditional refried beans and tortillas. So it's right here. Cheese each is 110 calories and then beans and the meat is 300 calories. So that's 410 plus tortilla. So that's 650 calories per burrito, 650-ish. So I have uh, about 1100 for dinner or uh, split between dinner and snack. So usually I would eat like two or three of these for lunch. So just give you an idea of what my diet used to be like. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna enjoy, and I'll be back for dinner. So I had dinner, but I forgot to uh, take a picture of it or explain what I ate, so here we go. Chicken rice bowl with steak from Bougie Grills. Usually it's about 750 calories for that whole plate. So that puts my total up to 1850 today. So I have room for a snack or a dessert if I want. Um, I might have a little shake later and kind of bring my uh, protein and take a little bit higher, but overall, been a good Saturday for eating, considering I like to go you know, a little bit in there, so. Good morning. Sunday morning, 27th, 28th, whatever, Sunday morning. So this is what I'm having for breakfast. Chorizo, potatoes, cheese, eggs, tortillas, and a little bit of sour cream. So what I used to do in the past, since the girls were smaller back in the day, since they'd grown up so big, I used to make two burritos in the morning. So I would have one and then I'd split the other one for the girls and they eat their own half. But now they're getting bigger and I'm on a diet. I've actually done it where I split it three ways. All of the burritos are equal size and that helps me cut down on the calories as well. Cause I still make the same amount of food. It's just I split it three ways instead of split it in half. So that's nice cutting back some calories, but usually burritos that I make are between 600 and 700 calories each. I'm probably highballing it, it's probably lower than that. I keep it in that range. So one of the biggest changes I had to make as far as dieting goes, it was easy to lose weight when you're eliminating things off your diet like soda, candy, portions, that kind of a thing. But a lot of that I was doing unknowingly was putting creamer in my coffee, putting too much. I was probably taking in about 200 to 400 calories just in creamer for coffee every day. So I'd have two cups. Anytime I cook anything, it'd pretty much be butter. A couple tablespoons of butter in the pan to cook everything else, you know, like, like. I use barely enough olive oil to coat the surface, if, if that. I'm letting in a lot of butter, I'd probably eat like a half a stick a day just with everything that I would do for cooking and whatnot, especially with the, with the, the kids here. So you gotta count everything. You gotta find out what extra you're taking in so that you can either count it towards your calorie intake that you're trying to reach or eliminating them all together. So yeah, next step for me is actually doing eliminating tortillas because a tortilla that we use here can be anywhere between 210 and 300 calories. And then that's like, that's like, you know, as much creamer as I was taking and it's not necessary. Just heavy, heavy calories that you don't need. So that's the next step. So I'll be back for lunch and uh, you guys have a good day. 
What's up guys? Totally forgot to uh, videotape my lunch. I still have, I'll use half of the package for myself and my daughter, so. Let me pull it out here. We have this, orange chicken, three servings. So it's like half, it's a lot if you uh, cook it all at once, so. It's uh, 1080 calories for half a package. So I eat about 75% of that and uh, my daughter has the other 25. So that's around 700 and about 800 calories. And then sticky white rice, I have half. We'll go less than half because my other daughter eats the rest of it. And that's uh, about 350 calories. So that's uh, 1150 calories for one meal. And then this is dinner for me. Uh, shake, it's uh, about 600 calories, about 100 grams of protein. It's a banana, it's frozen blueberries, spinach, a cup of uh, non-fat yogurt, chibani, and two scoops of uh, whey protein. This stuff right here. So coupled my three meals throughout the day has been about 2,300 calories. So right at or a little bit above my uh, normal caloric intake. But um, a couple days this week, I did about 16. So I have a little bit of room to uh, go over. So did that Friday, I actually went over about 1,000. My first splurge day in a long time. So that's Sunday's meal. So I won't be having anything for the rest of the day. Probably won't be having anything until tomorrow afternoon. So it'll probably be about 22 hours from now. So I'll see you then. Hey, what's up vlog? You wanna hang out? It's Monday. 2.50 p.m. having my first meal of the day. Pretty much uh, the same thing that I had last night, um, except a little bit more calories, so. Protein shake. All right, so I put uh, two cups of non-fat yogurt. So that's 240 calories. I put three scoops of protein, which was 390 calories. And I put a banana, which was about 100 calories. I put some frozen blueberries, which is about 30 calories. And I put about a cup and a half of spinach, which is about 10 calories. So until next Wednesday, I'm going to shoot for 1,800 calories and 200 grams of protein. And then I'll fill the rest with carbs and fats. So I have about 1,000 calories left for today. So pretty much I can hit those with the meals that I'm going to have. So it's pretty much going to be a shake and a, and a meal, 1,000 calories. I'll probably have that within the next hour or two. See you then. Later, late. What up? It's Monday. It's about, I don't know what time it is. 4, 20? Yeah, whatever, Chipotle, my go-to. This is uh, 890 calories. It's got about 60 grams of protein. So I'm gonna be a little short of my protein until I get home later tonight. And I'll have a couple of scoops of protein powder alone to make my, uh, actually no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. This is it, that's all the calories I get for the day. <laughs> it's all good. I'm still full for my shake, so this will actually uh, make me completely satisfied until I start working. So that's my dinner, Monday. Two meals, peace. I almost forgot. Coke Zero. I'm splurging, I'm splurging big time. I really haven't, I usually just get water, but I felt like I needed something different. Zero calorie, aspartame, it helps. Keeps me awake, it's got caffeine and shit. I'm so full, bro, I'm so full. Keep me full for the rest of the day. 1600 calories in a couple hours is perfect. Man, I'm good until tomorrow. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it, brother. What kind of works, bro? What kind of works, bro? Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Tuesday, 1.30. I have my first meal. And it's a shake. And get out of my way, dude. Same, same thing as yesterday, pretty much. Except it. One cup of yogurt instead of two. Three scoops of protein. Spinach. One banana. Half a cup of blueberries and water. It was out to 630 calories and about 100 grams of protein. Um, I'll actually have all the macros posted on the screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm taking in every day. Yeah, buddy. It's my first meal. I'll have my second meal in about two, three hours, maybe even later. Oh, yeah. I'll show you guys when I do that. You guys ready? You guys ready? You ready for another sip? So yesterday's meal was eaten at 4.30ish, so I probably finished it about five. So it had been 20 hours and 15 minutes since I ate in between meals. So keeps up with my 20 and four. As far as tomorrow goes, more than likely, uh, I work out in the morning, got a bunch of shit to do, work. And then I probably won't eat until like around 2.30. So I'll probably be going about 22 hours between meals after the meal today. So should be eating the next three or four hours or so. That's the plan, thanks. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you when I have another meal. Is that okay? What's up, guys? 2:30. Having my dinner already. So you just saw 
double teriyaki chicken, half side of rice, half veggies, and orange chicken. Let me figure out my macros, I'll get back to you. So fucking full, bro. Like super full. 1900 calories, 197 grams of protein. It's a diet shit. I'm done until tomorrow. That's how easy it is for me. My maintenance uh, calories is about 2600 a day. So I'm taking in, I'm trying to take in about 30% less than I shit for maintenance. So we'll see how, what happens at the end of the week when we uh, compare weights. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. What up? Time for my meal today. It's Wednesday, January 31st, end of the month, 2018. I'm topping off my protein shake. Smells like ass. Banana, blueberry, spinach, yogurt, protein shit, shake. Protein powder, sorry. Oh, it's 3.30, no one Wednesday. 3.30 Wednesday, if I didn't say that already. Done. Just got done blending after a minute. Fuck, it took forever, dude. And that's what I'm eating as well. Chicken and refried beans and cheese. This is about 1,400 calories plus the shake is about 600, so that's 2,000. There's my calorie intake for the day. So that meal all together, probably highballed it a little bit. I wasn't sure how much chicken I actually used, but it was actually the store-bought chicken, uh, rotisserie chicken, roasted chicken, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot more fat than usual. So I took in about 193 calories of protein today, 79 grams of fat, and 122 grams of carbs on that, all, on that one meal. So it's about 2,000 calories today with my shake. I'm full as fuck. I can't. I don't know. It's like, fuck. I'm, I'm like ready to not eat for the next 24 hours or something. Good morning, everybody. What up? It's time to have a bit, uh, um, something to eat. It's Thursday, uh, February 1st, 2018. It is almost noon, about 10 to noon. It has been almost 20 hours since I last ate. I was gonna try to push it to three again, try to go 24 hours straight without it, but can't do it. I need, I need something in my stomach, so. I'm not that hardcore at the fasting yet, but 20 and four is pretty hardcore if you really think about it. So I'm having my shake now, it's gonna be noon, and then later on tonight, we're actually having a pretty big dinner, so this coming weekend is gonna be crazy. I don't have my daughters, so I'm celebrating my birthday, which is next Tuesday, but I'm celebrating it this weekend, so. Tomorrow is going to be interesting uh, as far as uh, getting uh, content in. I'm probably having my shake, probably having extra calories in my shake tomorrow in order for me to, to drink a little bit, have a good time, going to a show, going to see the bombshells, which is the best, best ever. So I'm making my shake right now. If you guys want to watch, keep watching. Almost fucked up there. <laughs> that would have been a fucking mess, wouldn't it? Oh, shit. So the shake Thursday morning, so good. I skimped out on the uh, spinach because I don't have any to put in here. So banana, blueberries, one cup of uh, yogurt, and three scoops of cookies and cream protein powder. Yeah, this is the sixth day I've been doing uh, this video. So what up a teat. I'll be back with tonight's dinner. And then tomorrow will be the last day and we'll do all the calculations, all that shit here. So actually, you know what? So right now, this is the macros for this shake right here. Now that I think of it, I should probably do that for everyone, even in the past uh, five days that I didn't do it. So I've been keeping track, shit, you know, shit, fucking, okay. so anyway. Um, here comes dinner, wow. What up and back after three hours. Had my shake at 11.30, now I'm having some fucking Halo Tough, fucker. It's fucking right. Fits in my macros, and I've been craving a sweet treat, so. I'll give you the macros by mouth since I have it right in front of my face here. 80 calories per serving, so that's 320. That kind of says right there. 10 grams of fat, 64 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. Do it. What's up, y'all? Thursday night, cooking some dinner. So this is the dinner that I'm cooking outside in the outside of the apartment, cooking up some pork chops. So we're having that along with Caesar salad and fruit. So it's gonna be some bomb ass shit. I tell you what, usually when we do this, it's like the bomb luscious. It's fucking the bomb shit, motherfucker. Bruh. Fruit, pork chop, Caesar salad. Bruh. 
What up? Seventh day, Friday, February 2nd. Last day of the fasting. It's almost 3.30. I haven't had my first meal yet since I had a late dinner last night. Uh, we finished eating about 7.30, so I'm almost at that 20 hour mark. So I'm having a shake, same shit. There you go. I'll uh, do a time lapse to show you guys how I make it. I'm going out tonight. I'm gonna be doing a lot of alcohol drinking, so it'll be kind of difficult to track my calories as far as that goes, but throughout this entire week, I've been below my 2200 that I said I was gonna be doing. I've been hitting closer to like 17 to 1900 every day, so I do have like calories in the bank that I can actually use. So probably gonna go eat somewhere when I get to LA. Probably have something between 8,000, excuse me, <laughs> 8,000 calories, yeah. Um, 800 to 1,000 calories, so that'll put my uh, calorie intake for today about 1700 16 to 1700 so um i'll probably be doing some calculations as far as shots go and i'll keep a track of it but i will be back to show you what i have for dinner what is up so it's saturday I'm currently editing this video but i did want to acknowledge that a lot of what i uh, ingested last night as far as going to see the show and all that kind of stuff i didn't take many pictures so yesterday, let's see, Friday, you just saw the video on uh, my shake that I had. And then last night, um, to give you a rundown, I went to Hooters. I had a uh, barbecue Western burger, about a third of a serving of fries that they usually do. Um, I skipped out on the onion rings. It said the whole plate was like 1500 calories, but I probably ate about a thousand of that. And then I had a six piece uh, boneless wings it in a little bit of ranch so that was probably about 500 so 1500 plus the shake which was about 600 and something odd or whatever it was whatever i just had it at so that's 2100 plus i had six long island iced teas that was pretty wasted i'll be honest if you if you saw my instagram live video and my facebook live video you would understand how effed up i was but don't go no don't go look at those oh you can't anymore because after 24 hours thank god anyway i probably took in about 3,000 calories yesterday altogether if not more i had some in the bank from this week as you saw all the numbers so uh here is the tally <laughs> total calories for the week 15,059 fat grams 445 carbohydrates grams 1700 protein grams 1246 over a seven day period those averaged out to 2151 calories 64 grams of fat 243 grams of carbs and 178 grams of protein a little above my number just because of last night if that didn't happen i would have probably been around 2000 for the week but i'm not i'm not tripping also as far as my weight loss goes uh as I did it from Friday to Friday because I'm not 100% sure if my scale here at home is 100% accurate. So um, I always weigh myself at the gym whenever I go. So from Friday the 26th until yesterday, I went from 289 to 287. So it's two pound difference. Two pounds, what up? As far as the scale here at home, I said I was 290.8 last Saturday. And then this morning I weighed in at 285.7. That's five pound difference. So I'm not gonna... That's too much, that's way too fucking much, so. Two pound difference, doing the uh, fasting, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what the hours that I was actually fasting versus when I was having my fast uh, eating windows. All right, so what I did was I, I added up all the hours that I had my windows. So Saturday, my uh, eating window was nine hours from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday was from 9.30 to five, so seven and a half hours, and then so on and so forth. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I only had four hours of open eating time out of those three days, which is pretty crazy. And then uh, Thursday, I had a seven hour window, and then Friday, I had an eight and a half hour window. So it actually averaged out to a uh, seven day average of 18 hours of 45 minutes of my of fasting. Just average. Um, obviously, you just heard me say that pretty much closer to the weekends, um, it changes a lot. Usually I have like anywhere between a seven and a nine hour window of when I eat, which is like a normal person, you know, if you eat breakfast at around 10 and then eat dinner at like six or seven in the evening, it's like, that's normal, so. But yeah, during the week is when I really do hardcore, um, especially when I'm working out. I probably shouldn't go as slow as like a two, 
one and a half, one hour window. It's fucking ridiculous. Unless I plan on just eating one huge meal a day, which um, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna try to stick to closer to the 20 and four. I'm not gonna get too hardcore crazy with it, but I guess the real thing is, is that the whole point of this is that intermittent fasting, is it, is it, is it, is it working? I mean, before, like when I wasn't doing it and I'm on the current diet that I'm doing, I was probably averaging closer to like, you know, a normal 16 to eight fast. As far as that goes, shit, I'm still fucking hungover. Does intermittent fasting help? I say it does. It does for me because then I don't have to worry about it as much as far as eating. A lot of what is convenient about it is it just makes it easier to plan your meals out, I guess. Like, I would rather not eat at work. It's just the way I prefer it. I'd rather eat in like a certain window and then while I'm at work, you know, if I don't need to take any breaks if I don't have to besides pissing and shit. So. Uh, yeah, bitch, yeah. So I'm gonna shoot for like an 18 and six windows. 20 and four I might do on certain days. I did notice that when I was doing like a, a two hour window, it was easier, you know, have my shake and then go eat or I've had my shake and my meal at one sitting. You know, it's more convenient, but that's more period in time. You know, anything over 20 hours is crazy. Like I went 24 hours from Tuesday into Wednesday before I ate and like the last four hours I was hungry. I was bitter a little bit. I was just kind of like not that happy. I was cold. You know, usually I'm like emitting a lot of body heat. I actually felt cold even when I was fully clothed and it was like 75 degrees outside. So, I mean, even right now I've, I had my shake at 10.30 this morning. It's three o'clock right now. So, I mean, I only went 10 hours this time between. Um, so, all in all, in order for you to lose weight, you can do it a bunch of different ways. Um, I'm proof that you don't have to do all this crazy stuff. You know, the intermittent fasting thing, you, it's up to preference, realistically. But I was only 2,150 calories this week. I lost two pounds. That's my caloric deficit that I need to hit in order to lose weight. And I'll probably have to uh, lower that number the further along I get. I really appreciate everybody who watched this all the way through. Maybe you got some valid information on it. Maybe you'll try intermittent fasting. I don't know. But um, if you have any questions, I'll do the best that I can in order to answer them. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I hope you guys were entertained at some point or whatever. But I um, really appreciate everybody that was watching. Peace out. Late.